No peace. It was a shooting that led to protests in Colorado Springs. Now a grand jury will decide if police were justified in shooting and killing Devon Bailey. The 19-year-old died in August. Police wanted to question him and his friend about a robbery. When they were told they would be searched for weapons, an officer's body cam video shows Bailey running off. Well, officers shot him three times in the back, once in the arm. They did find a gun in his pocket. Since that shooting, Bailey's family has been asking for more evidence in the case to be released. They have also called for an independent investigation. Connor McHugh live at the Capitol tonight. Connor, the governor is weighing in on this case, too. Yeah, Karen, just yesterday, the family actually met privately with Governor Polis, who in August actually asked for an independent review of this shooting. Now, that hasn't happened yet, and today, with the news of this grand jury investigation, the family said through an attorney, it's too little too late. I was walking down the street, and some men just confronted me with a gun. From the 911 calls beforehand. So we got a report of two people, similar descriptions, possibly having a gun, all right? To the chilling moments, police officers shot a fleeing Devon Bailey in the back. A grand jury will soon have a lot to review, but Bailey family attorney Mari Newman says it's not enough. It's impossible for us to have any faith that a grand jury can come to a fair conclusion when they're relying on biased information presented by a biased district attorney. Newman and the family are pushing for an independent review into the August 3rd shooting that sparked community outrage and protests. She says there are too many close ties between local prosecutors and Colorado Springs police. An idea 18th Judicial District Attorney George Brockler disagrees with. If you let that drive these decisions, then no DA would ever get to review murders or attempted murders or use of force or any cases in which the public showed any interest in changing the prosecutor. I just think that's a huge, reckless mistake. In announcing the grand jury recommendation, the DA's office said there will be no further comment. Both officers involved have since returned to duty following administrative leave. Now, while the governor did meet with the family, he has not indicated whether he will actually force that in independent investigation. That is something he can do by executive action. Live in Denver tonight, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First. Connor, thank you.